the blocking of Lithuanian dairy products, beef and the beer by Chinese custom is not a spontaneous event. It started with a series of events happened before that. First, Lithuanian foreign minister advised Lithuanian population to throw away the Chinese mobile phones over the suspicions of snooping, snooping against the Lithuanian population. The China did not react immediately over this issue. But the second event sent shockwave to Beijing when the Lithuania allowed Taiwan to open a de facto embassy on Lithuanian capital Vilnius. From this second event, China started acting against Lithuania. At first, China declared Lithuanian diplomats as persona non grata. Then they, then they almost kicked themselves out of the country at immediate effect. Then China blocked Lithuanian goods at Chinese ports, not officially but unofficially. Why unofficially? Because to avoid the WTO's legislation on unlawful banning export. China also tried their best to keep their profile low on Lithuanian issue. But this time, China is doing it openly. China suspended the imports of beef, dairy and the beer from Lithuania this week according to the Lithuania's Veterinary Control Agency. China's General Administration of Customs suspended the export citing a lack of documentation. These are all false reasons. China just want to disturb the Lithuanian economy over the Lithuanians' approval to the Taiwan to open a de facto embassy. Over the Lithuania-China trade disputes, the European Union approached the World Trade Organization to resolve the issue. But this recent move may bolster the European Union case against the China alleging the discriminatory practices towards a member state. Lithuania State Food and the Veterinary Services said it has so far not received any notification from China that any information or data is missing. The agency said the Chinese authorities has carried out a remote audit of Lithuanian beef and the fish products export in 2020. It added that there were no complaints and the export continued to run smoothly until the end of the last year. The China is using trade as a retaliatory measure to punish the Lithuania to punish the Lithuanian businessmen. But democratic nations have tools and the regulation that help withstand such coalitions. But now Britain released a statement that it will join the United States and Australia in backing the European Union trade case against China at World Trade Organization. Now all the countries, all the democratic minded country, the countries, those who are democratically elected, they are prime minister or the president, they are all coming in the favor of the Lithuania. The European Commission says the overall exports from Lithuania and the European Union member to China fell 91% in December compared to the same month in 2020. On this issue, the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Zhao Li Jian declined to elaborate on the beef, beer and the dairy product suspension. But he said that the Lithuania should correct its mistake, the mistakes they made by allowing the Taiwan to open its embassy in its capital. That China simply want Lithuania to decline the Taiwan to open its embassy in its capital because China do not recognize Taiwan as an independent nation. China recognize Taiwan as an integral part of China. China is the world top importer of beef. But Lithuania only shipped 775 tons of beef in 2021 out of total 2.36 trillion tons of beef imported by China at that year. Among the 2.36, only 77.75 tons of beef were imported. So Lithuania's share is very low. So Lithuania can do the business with the other European countries, other Asian countries, if they are importing that much of that much of beef to the China. 
so they can do the negotiations with the other nations other nations like the australia maybe japan the taiwan itself can import that much of beef for their own populations so in the current situation taiwan has increased their import from lithuania to help the lithuania to help the lithuanian population now taiwan also gave lithuania 200 million dollar 200 million dollar to compensate the trade losses for those businesses those who were dealing with the china directly there were so many businessmen those who were dealing directly with the china to send their goods to the china they were sending the logs they were sending the other goods except the except from the beer they were sending the ram and they were sending the vegetables to the china because the china import those things from lithuania and the taiwan is also helping them by giving them the 200 million dollar line of credit to help them to build up and semiconductor industry within their capital or within the lithuania because taiwan is an world one of the world biggest manufacturer of semiconductor and their semiconductor industry is world class their semiconductor industry the taiwanese semiconductor manufacturing industry is trying to diversify their businesses all across the world because of the chinese fear of aggression against taiwan if the china attacked the taiwan and captured the taiwan then they will have the chance to help the taiwan from outside that is why they are diversifying that is why they have chosen the lithuania as their base as their one of the bases in the europe because the taiwan also have other countries in which they are investing on 5th february the china refused to take the lithuanian ram bottles but the taiwan bought that 20000 bottles of ram from lithuania and the taiwan is also importing the beef and the beer from the lithuania to help the lithuania so world is helping the lithuania to face the dragon in this scenario india have to stretch its hands to help the lithuania but india cannot import the beef or the beer because india do not in india the beef is almost banned in the northern part of the india and the most of the middle part of the india the indian beef consumption is beef consumption is very low so that is why india cannot help them in that case but in the log or the semiconductor import india can help them but now the semiconductor industry is not there but the when the semiconductor industry will came up india will definitely came up with an kind hand and helping the lithuania to grow their business in asia thank you very much thank you for your attention